So I wanted to make a little video about the things that I get at the grocery store and I guess hopefully tell you why. I'm not the best at explaining things. There are probably other YouTubers who can, but you know, they can probably only reach so many. But anyways, I, I you know, I go to Aldi's. Uh, they are very, uh, they're, they're, they're not too pricey, uh, especially nowadays. I think Whole Foods and, uh, and you know, uh, uh, farm, uh, you know uh, the uh, farmer's market, they can be very pricey and oftentimes they do have because they are labeled as a health food store some of them some of their products will be you know you know their people aren't going to crit criticize them so so much uh with this i i buy these little crackers they're good uh currently i'm doing paleo at least what i'm trying to do and uh but these crackers uh you know paleo and keto can work Together, I guess in one regard and what I mean by that is that you know so the foods for keto can be incorporated in paleo uh, but not the other way around so but I, I buy these little crackers they're pretty good um, you know they're basically the ingredients if I can get it uh, almond flour cheddar cheese pasteurized milk cheese coasters salt you know, vegetable color, the anato, ta tapioca, starch, sesame seeds, you know, still good, you know, uh, you know, uh, four grams of net carbs. Then I buy these little guys, uh, they're pretty good, uh, coconut, cashew, crisp, and they only come, they only have those ingredients, coconut, coconut sugar, which is good for your insulin. Uh, how fat loss works is by modulating your insulin. Which is good you know you want to modulate your insulin you know a lot of our foods have like a bunch of added sugars hidden sugars such as maltodextrin sugars organic cane sugar uh high corn fructose syrup or sugar um uh, you know the other thing too peanut butter uh it's not like the best best the healthiest nut to consume but you know when you're on a budget peanut butter it's still good to to have it's probably not the best thing to to look into but yeah uh i like this stuff it's organic and it has peanuts and sea salt not too bad again you're getting five grams of net carbs per serving of course me i go overboard um da -da -da. i buy these little cookie things they're cheaper at aldi's uh than 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 they you know elsewhere uh but you know still three servings per container i wish they had more servings per per container because i use these as a little snack uh but still pretty good you know uh, the, 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 you know being not on paleo but uh or being on paleo i consume popcorn I have to watch out you know some of these popcorn places have used uh hydrogenated vegetable oils you know we talk about sickness and health related issues coming from such uh, oils. This has extra virgin coconut oil, organic non-GMO popcorn, which is good. Himalayan salt, which is a better salt to, uh, to be consuming versus say regular table salt, which oftentimes comes with a lot of sugars, added sugars. But you're not paleo, again, uh, you know, you want to, consume you know uh avocado i have one ho avocado in the morning uh you know some people probably don't want to do that but but still avocados are good because of the potassium um which talking about talking about uh what is it T talking about uh salt and potassium i never knew this but the you know if you have high blood pressure which i did i'm talking from experience uh, having, you know, you need to at least get 4,700 uh, grams or uh, MGs or whatever. I have to go double check, but MGs or grams of potassium a day. Uh, sodium is only 2,300. Uh, oh yeah, 2,300 MGs. Uh, potassium, 4,700 MGs. Uh, so you have to balance out, you know, you need double the amount of potassium, if not triple the amount of potassium than you do uh, uh sodium sodium is still a necessary mineral 
And whenever doctors say you have to lower your sodium, they never really talk about the potassium uh, factor. That's why, you know, oftentimes they say, well, you want to lower your sodium and eat breads and pasta, whatever. No, you want to low, you know, if you're eating a, if you're, you want to up your, up your uh, potassium, because if your potassium levels are high, your sodium level will be low because potassium and sodium compete in the bloodstream. Uh, what else? Uh, I buy these little drinks. Uh, they're, they're, they're good. Some people may not like them, but hey, they're better than regular soda. Uh, sprouted bread. I like sprouted bread because, yeah, I don't know all the reasons why, but one of the reasons why is because it's more of a complex carb and it's, it's a lot better for you. And it hasn't been processed like, you know, like the, uh, the wheat, the, the wheat flour and all that stuff, which, and then on top of that being processed, you know, they take a lot of, a lot out, uh, a lot of minerals out. So, you know, I like sprouted sprouted stuff uh, being on um being on paleo i can eat honey molasses uh coconut sugar and it's still good um i bought this I don't, you know it's, it's agave nectar it's better than regular i would say it's better than regular sugars uh but you know still there's still some issues with agave being high in, uh, in fructose uh, but one of the benefits of agave is that it doesn't spike your insulin. But then again, with a lot of uh, fructose, you don't want to consume a whole lot of that because of the, your liver. The liver processes the sugars. Um, I tried to eat a green banana, not a, a ripened banana, because green bananas are are uh, are are basically a complex starch. Um, it, it's harder for your body to digest it. And, but the downside, if you're on keto, uh, and you're eating a green banana, you, you know, that's pretty much all the carbs that you can eat. Uh, you know, I don't know. I've been told lots of different things about, about being on keto. Uh, is that, you know, you, uh, well, dang, what, what is it? Uh, lots of different things about being on, on, on keto is that, you can have like 50 grams of carbs, uh, net carbs or whatever, and still be okay. I don't know. Everyone's different. You know, you don't want to, you know, I don't want to say you can have only so much carbs and you're, you're able to have this amount or only this amount. So I buy this from, uh, from Sprouts. Uh, you know, again, you know, just because it, it's from Sprouts doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. And just because it's from a regular store or you know good that's because you're at a regular store doesn't mean it's bad um of course you know the ingredients that they're starting to make it to where they're not putting their ingredients on on the list which is bad because a lot of these things have canola oil maltodextrin which are bad oils to to be consuming um you know and then i buy i buy this you know i you know i think overall i'm getting at least around 70 grams of protein i suffer with gout so it's hard to really you know i don't want to go overboard with my protein um i mean i buy this marinara sauce you always want to buy marinara sauce that basically you can just read the ingredient list you know uh you don't want to uh you know if, if you have to get an interpreter to read the ingredient list then it's not the best uh what else what else um one other thing too you know uh, i buy this you know, which is, uh, I used to buy spinach a lot. You know, I suffer with, uh, I, you know, I've been suffering with, uh, with kidney stones, but, you know, spinach has a lot of, uh, oxalates, uh, you know, not that you want to necessarily, you know, pre you know, not eat oxalates. It's hard to do that with, uh, with our, with our foods, but I like kale. I mean, there's other things too that are probably better, but kale at least is a lot better. It's low in oxalates and it also has a lot more minerals, uh, you know, potassium. You know, I think uh, spinach is high in oxalates and it also has, uh, and it also has, you know, uh, it also it also has low potassium, where it's lower in potassium. But anyways, I, I guess that's about it. The other thing too I like buying, I like spurgeon, you know, it's, of course it's my birthday. Uh, well, it was yesterday. I'm a 
you know, anyways, uh, it was yesterday, but uh, one of the things I like splurging on, you know, health, you know, helpful wise, you know, not on cake or anything that I just ate, uh, is uh, keto ice cream that you can get at uh, at at, uh, at Aldi's. Uh, you know, I mean, the ingredients are not perfect, but uh, but still, you know, I mean, I mean, they're it's better than like anything else, you know. And if it if I can eat this and stay stay sane on on a whatever you want to call a diet um then yeah i mean but anyways I mean, a lot of our foods you know you have to watch out i personally believe that you are what you eat and you know the food industry even some of the healthcare industry they're just making us sicker because it's all about the money and if you can get them you know he you know he who is able to control you know, the money and stuff like that, you know, it's able to, I don't know, anyways, they, 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 they just get richer and richer. No one, like I said, no one taught me about the potassium and sodium balance. I had to go to, you know, a YouTuber who, you know, well, you know, it was a doctor, a doc, Dr. Berg, and he actually taught, you know, said it in one of his videos, you have to have a balance, you know, and I mean, so far, the last couple of times, my you know, I went to the doctor for whatever reason. Um, my blood pressure has been really good. Of course, you know, I don't know how it is now because I've been off keto. I was on keto before and I got on to paleo. Um, I like it only because, you know, of course, you want to eat complex carbs on paleo uh, if you do have carbs. I mean, every now and then it's okay to splurge, but you don't want to splurge all the time. But anyways, all right, bye.